Demonstrate to me an elevator trim stall. Okay. So with an elevator trim stall, I'm going to bring the power back just down to 16. That way we don't get too far away from where we're going. Uh, this is simulating that we're coming in for landing. Uh, we've turned base, final. Uh, something comes out in front of the runway, whether it's another airplane, a deer, something we see that we don't like, and we have to go around. So we're going to slow the airplane down. So we're within our gear extension speed, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the gear down. South City Archer, 704 Alpha, steps on the downwind, runway 22. There we go, three greens. First notch of flaps. That airspeed's then coming out at 100. Okay. Second notch of flaps coming in. We still got our descent rate. Here we're looking for 80, so we're going to get an 80, 80, 80 miles an hour, 500 foot a minute descent. 525 Juliet Golf, request radio check, please. We're adding trim in between each flap setting. Coming into land. There's 80, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add full power for a go around. That nose is going to come up because of all of that airspeed. Left down, left base for two one. Foothills. Make sure you clarify with him, does he want you to demonstrate approach to elevator trim stall or recovery before it happens, or does he want you to let it go ahead and go install? Make sure okay. you ask him which one you want. In that case, you had a good good, de good um, demonstration, go ahead and go back to level flight. A good demonstration of recovery once it's happened, but he may want to say, okay, I want you to show me what's going to happen to it, let it sh demonstrate to the student it's going to happen, and say, okay, as it comes up, now here's what we do to keep it from happening. All right. They won't either way. All right. Another thing I want to suggest that you do, um, okay, I'll demand that you do. But for, but for as many of these maneuvers as possible, we don't want them to think they're learning something new. Right? Stay at five. So we're not going to teach them how to do an elevator trim stall. We're not going to teach them how to do a departure stall. We're not going to teach them how to do approach to landing stall because they come off of something else. So when you started that right there, you, what you should say for elevator trip stall or for a power off, you say, we're going to land the airplane up here in the air. We're going to do exactly like you do when we land the airplane. All right, we're opposite the numbers now. Power's back to, prop goes to, or power comes back to um, whatever you do, 1800, right? And, um, and then we're go, you go through the regular landing sequence. Right. But if I could do an elevator trim stall and a power off stall exactly the same way, yeah. it's just at the end on a, on a power off approach to landing stall, you bring the power back and stall it. On an elevator trim stall, you go full power and let it pop up and one see if it stalls, three. right? Okay. But the, the part before that, so they don't have to say, oh my God, I've got to learn how to do a trim stall, I've got to learn how to do these three stalls. No, you already know how to depart the airport. We're just going to show what happens at the end of that. You already know how to approach the landing. We're going to show what happens at the end of that. Okay. All right, so now I want you to take me somewhere.